So file upload was uh, file upload vulnerabilities was the last thing we focused on, and uh, the last video actually was on uh, defending against file upload attacks. Now in this video we're actually going to look into broken access controls, and uh, like I said, there's still a lot of stuff that we have to cover in here. So I'm pretty stoked about it, even though. Lately, I don't have time to actually film these videos and uh, spend more time on YouTube because I have a lot of ongoing app security assessments, so that's that. But uh, we'll take them one step at a time. So broken access controls. In this video, we're going to look into the attacks. In the next video, we're going to look into the defenses and a short quiz with probably one or two questions to see what it is all about. Now, broken access controls. All resources on your site need to have access control implemented, even if they're intended to be discovered by a user. Relying on security through obscurity will lead to problems. Let's see how. Now, I'm going to start uh, with a parenthesis, saying that broken access controls is one of the issues that I find most common in uh, the app security assessments and in the pen tests that I do, because I think this is my favorite one. I focus a lot on it. Now, I need to say that when you're actually doing an app security assessment, there are no favorites. You have to actually look for all the issues according to a standard that you're testing. Maybe if you're doing um, bug bounties and stuff like that, which I don't do, you can focus on whatever you want. But if you're actually doing a penetration test or an app security assessment, you have to follow a standard. And that standard encompasses multiple types of security issues, not your favorites. So that being said, I still have to highlight that broken access controls is one of my favorite issues. That being said, uh, let's see what this is all about. So most web users uh, browse by clicking links or using search functions. Because of this, it is tempting to think anything on your site that is not linked to or indexed will be hidden. Okay, it's tempting to think that. But well, that's actually not the case. This attitude is considered security through obscurity and it is best avoided. Even if the path to sensitive data is practically unguessable, saying you're using UUIDs, which is far better than just IDs, once a path is discovered, it can be widely shared. So, Worse, if your paths are predictable, a savvy user can write scripts to periodically uh, check potential URLs and see whether new information is available. Now on that topic, so I keep saying that uh, if you're in application security, you should for at least learn three types of languages. So first you would learn some scripting languages such as Python and JavaScript, so uh, not JavaScript, but Python and Bash, so that you can actually code your own tools to help you with, like in this case, discovering a uh, predictable path. And of course, you should also learn JavaScript because if you're doing application security, most or a lot of the applications that you're going to look into are going to be some sort of a flavor of JavaScript and in that situation, you're far better off compared to other security people if you know how to read and if you know how to spot security issues in the code itself. Because in that situation, you would not have to blindly throw a bunch of uh, 100,000 payloads that are not relevant in towards an input, for example, for cross-site scripting purposes, because you're actually just going to look into the code and if there is any potential uh, cross-site scripting, you'll actually find it and go straight to the point in the code without actually having to burden the server with the hundreds of thousands of request, requests that you're actually making. Now, access control decisions need to be evaluated every time a resource is accessed. Let's look how broken access control could harm your business. This is based on a real world case study that costs uh, a company millions of dollars. And that's what actually happens. So 
Let's see, Stan runs a website that uh, posts financial reports and press releases for major companies. Important business people read these reports and adjust their portfolios according to the information disclosed. All right, so far so good. Corporations have a legal obligation to post earning reports. Yes, that's right. Information must be made available to all interested parties simultaneously to avoid allegations of uh, insider trading. This is made explicit in the contract between Stan and his clients. So Stan is a very busy guy and has to deal with a lot of documents uh, that are being submitted to him around the clock. To keep on top of things, he posts them, uh, posts the reports to his site as he receives them. So a bunch of information here. Then updates the links on the main feed at the page, at the prearranged publishing time. Now, Ollie is one of his users. He is interested in getting financial reports. Remember, we're talking about broken access controls here, before the rest of the market. So. He notices the quarterly reports have a predictable naming structure in the situation 2015 Q3. So that's predictable because you could look for 2015 Q2, Q1, Q4, 2016, 2017 and so on and so forth. So um, let's see what they said there and checks a potential URL before the official publication date. Success. Now Ollie knows he can circumvent access uh, control rules and writes a script to periodically check for quarterly reports of all the companies in his portfolio. So we see here 2015 Q3. We cannot click on that. But anyways, let's see what's next. Getting early access to reports given him. It gives actually an edge over other investors and soon he is considered um, beating the market. So this is a very serious issue here. And this uh, case of broken access control has actually been enabled by being able to predict a certain URL. So for example, in this situation was 2015 Q3 PDF. So this could be an issue of an either as well or insecure direct object reference because as you can see you could also look for so if you're just starting out in uh, 2016 and let's say that uh, the earnings haven't released yet but they have published sort of like a preliminary report let's say one or two days before the earnings date you could check that and in this situation since uh, they are published under a predictable format, you could definitely have a competitive advantage over other investors be because you'd know how the market is going to turn with respect to this company and you might be able to buy or sell with insider information in this situation. So uh exactly it gives him an edge over other investors so eventually all of uh, the firms comes under investigation for suspected insider trading which is not the case but it, this actually has been a case of security issue or, or a cyber security issue or a lack of good implementation of the web application they argue in court that they are simply accessing publicly available information the ruling is upheld and Stans' firm is fine for not upholding their obligation to release information at the appropriate time. So they are actually being fined because not only so for not upholding, this is abstract, upholding their obligation to release the information at the appropriate time. They are releasing the information at the appropriate time, but their application uh, security controls is in the tree in the proverbial tree so to speak so this is probably one of the very relevant cases of broken access controls this is sort of an issue that sometimes well in this case it it's quite easy to sort of like find and predict but in other situations in probably in probably maybe 99.9999% of the cases 
this issue, this uh, issue cannot be found by automation so you wouldn't be able to find it with burp uh, scanner or with whatever automated tool you have this is a type of situation where you're actually having to find issues um, or to find this type of issue by actually looking manually or and not any, not only manually but visually with your own eyes into the issue itself so this was a very relevant case of broken access controls uh, the risk around broken access control seems real enough let's see how to mitigate it and that's actually the um, subject for the next uh, video